Okay, so the Gen 2 Max is what we're dealing with here. We've had it for, I don't know, almost a week now. We've been out every day on it, testing different boards and foils. A lot of flat weather um, recently, so been testing the e-foil capabilities. The time, runtime is fantastic on the e-foil. We're getting like 45 minutes with no helping. If you help it, it's over an hour for sure. Um, anything shorter than five foot board, you pretty much need to help that foil pump up unless you're on a big hydrofoil. Like on the PNG 910, I had to have at least like a 410 or five foot board to have enough power to kind of pop up on the foil. Um, once you're up, or if you're on a longer board, like this uh, Wingcraft V1 here is a 5.6, it's perfect. I can get up every single time. I don't notice uh, the battery degrading either with discharge. So on the version or the Gen 1 um, Foil Drive Assist Plus, as the battery got below 50%, you'd notice a huge drop in power. Wasn't like that on the Gen, Gen 2. Um, I have good power all the way till it literally runs out of power and goes into limp mode. Some of the features that have been absolutely astounding on the new unit is the ability for the controller to keep um, in connection with the unit even when everything is below the water. So on that Wing Raider, um, which is a 90 liter, but it feels more like a 70 liter, I could sink that board a foot underwater and still have connection to the controller to keep pushing and have it pop back up. Um, that's going to come in huge with uh, prone guys on sinker boards or even wing guys on sinker boards trying to downsize as small as possible, you know, 50 liters, 40 liter boards. I've had a bunch of questions about using the Gen 2 Max with inflatable boards. So I broke out an iFly. This is a 120 liter. So they're really not that long. It's probably a 5.6, five, 5.8 five, um, in length and uh, 120 liters just because of that thickness. So inflatable boards in general like to stick to the water. So, you know, I didn't know, they didn't know if it would it'd be easy to come up. E-foiling, the inflatable board was awesome, actually. Felt great on the water. I was able to do some flat water pumping practice on it, and it popped right up. Um, it's all about the length as far as e-foiling up on these uh, foil drives. If you have a long board, it's going to be easy to pop up. Not so much the displacement, not so much the volume. It's, it's more to do with the length of the board. By far my favorite thing about the new setup is that it centers all of the mass for the propulsion system and the batteries all right above that mast and base plate. So if you're trying to learn some pumping, flat water pumping or turns or jibes or any of this stuff, it feels exactly the same as if you were on a board with no propulsion unit and no assist. Um, it's absolutely fantastic, it's great. We still have pre-orders available for the very first shipment of these that are coming in a couple weeks. If you guys want one, get those pre-orders in.